Hi, my name is Ihab Bashara. I'm the Director of Cloud Computing Products at Tylera. Uh, today we're going to talk about Tylera in general, how we fit in cloud, and also talk about some of the announcements that we've made in the last couple of days uh, around the Quanta server as well as the roadmap processors that we're enabling for cloud computing. So uh, when we talk about Tylera, uh, the, the problem that the market is facing right now in cloud is that the hardware is limiting its growth. Uh, the hardware problems like hyper, high power as well as um, incremental improvements in performance uh, are really limiting the advancements of cloud today. What Talera does is we solve these problems. We offer the same performance at very low power so that you're not limited by your power budget. You can put so much, uh, so many servers and so much processing in the same power budget that you have today uh, in your data center. So tell us a little bit about how uh, Tylera got started and uh, the background of the company. So Tylera was uh, founded in 2004 based on the technology out of MIT uh, on how to put so many cores together in a cache coherent and eliminating all the bottlenecks uh, that uh, are in the connection between these cores. That was the main idea behind the company. Uh, in 2007 we came up with our first product that is the Tile. Uh, Pro, uh, the Tile, Tile 64 processor. In 2009, we came, with a Tile, came out with the Tile Pro family. Uh, the Tile Pro family has uh, 64 and 36 uh, core parts, uh, and they provide uh, the performance and the performance per watt that you know we're seeing today in some of the products that uh, we're, we announced this week. So uh, you've got a, a unit over here. Why don't you uh, give us a, a, a sort of an overview of what we're looking at? Sure. So uh, if we look at the unit over here, uh, we have a, a server that was built by Quanta Computer. Quanta is one of the leading server uh, ODMs in the world. Uh, they're out of Taiwan. They, uh, they use a standard 2U chassis. Uh, the 2U chassis has four uh, different modules, hot pluggable. Each module has two Tylera processor, processors. Uh, with each processor, include has uh, eight DIMMs. Uh, connection to SATA drives. Uh, each processor has uh, three SATA drives, uh, as well as I/O. Uh, the I/O per processor is up to uh, two by ten gig uh, Ethernet, as well as two by one gig Ethernet. Uh, each processor is a complete node. It uh, it has a BMC per node, so you can run a standard uh, management. Uh, protocols and APIs, IPMI 2.0, Navios, Ganglia. Uh, in addition to that, uh, each processor runs a standard Linux stack. So from a software point of view, it looks exactly like a Linux box. When you uh, programming it, I was talking to one of the web developers that is using one of our boxes in their data center. I told them, well, how do you like our cores versus others? He's like, I really don't care. As long as you give me GCC and I configure uh, Linux on top of it, that's all I need. I don't care what you have under, uh, under the hood, uh, as long as you give me the performance uh, that I want. He's actually running some uh, caching as well as web serving applications uh, on one of our boxes at 35 watts uh, versus uh, you know, the boxes that he used before at 200 plus watts. And that's really the value that we provide. Mm -hmm. We can provide so much, if you look at this box with the eight processors in it, we have a total of 512 cores in 2U enclosure uh, with a power budget of only 400 watts. This box can replace eight 2U servers, each server including a dual socket high-end Xeon processor. Uh, and the, the, you know, so the power saving is significant. So when we get uh, the high density, uh, obviously uh, data center operators love the power uh, efficiency gains. Uh, one of the challenges is how you cool some of the higher density uh, uh, servers. Uh, what's the, how does uh, the, the cooling profile for, for your products look? So uh, if you look at the, the, from a cooling point of view, uh, for a, a 2U server at 400 watts, it's not, it's not bringing up the power so much. If you put Intel processors in, in this box, then you'll have a cooling problem because you'll consume something on the order of 2,000 watts. Uh, you know, actually this box is, uh, you know, the, the, the power supplies for them, each one is uh, about 
1100 watts to accommodate up to uh, Intel processors. So uh, that's when that, uh, the problem becomes more critical, when you have a, a thousand plus watts per box uh, with the density. But a 400 watt, it's actually a very typical uh, cooling or um, uh, what should I say, a very typical power profile for a 2U. If you look at it from a rack point of view, we can fit 20 of these in an 8K watt rack. And 8K is a pretty standard right. uh, limit for a rack. So it, we don't see really the power or cooling issues when it comes to density because each processor is such a, a low power processor. So you guys have a pretty ambitious roadmap in terms of going forward, how you, where you see the, the density picture going. Sure. So uh, what I like to tell people is that we're really bringing back Moore's Law to life. Uh, everybody knows about the Moore's Law gap where performance or the, the silicon number of transistors were increasing, but the performance was not increasing in linear fashion with that number of transistors. And the reason behind that is that uh, the cores were becoming bigger and bigger, but not as performant. And by becoming bigger, they were more power hungry. Right. Uh, what we do, that the core technology that Tylera provides is making so many power efficient cores uh, linked together on the same chip. And with that technology was just really starting to, uh, uh, to gain the benefits of. It's not something that we're trying to squeeze everything uh, out of it to come up with 64 cores. So next year, we're going to have 100 cores. Uh, the year after that, we're going to have up to two, uh, actually 2013, we're going to have up to 200 cores on the same chip. Uh, each one of these is a family. So we have from 16 to 100, for example. And for cloud applications, uh, different applications will use a different configuration, a balance between processing and I.O. and uh, memory. Uh, some of the SKUs in the processors will have more memory uh, capacity per core uh, and bandwidth. Others will have more processing uh, per memory and that will be balanced based on which application customers are using it for. Listen, well, Hab, this is really interesting stuff. Thanks so much for taking some time to, to talk to our readers and to fill them in about Tailera. You're very welcome, Rich. I'm glad to do it.